Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about detachment and letting go. We're going to get right into it. The art of letting go and detaching from the outcome has been something that I've been struggling with for such a long time and I want to share with you some takeaways that I have had recently about detachment in general and how that has to play into creating your best reality, probably more than likely quantum leaping into your best reality having your manifestations come to fruition and ultimately leading you where you're looking to go in your life. So first things first, what is detaching? What does detachment have to do with anything? And why is it important? I feel like that's a lot in, in the first pointer here, but more or less, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to tell you a story. So for the last four years, I have wanted more than anything. And it, even longer than that, if I were to go back to even 2017, right, that's seven years ago now, I've wanted more than anything to generate money online. I have so been like, hyper focused on it, because in my mind, that is the way that is the way to create content to create a business that I enjoy, that I find sustainable, that I can keep coming back to, and that's going to ultimately drive me towards the life and the lifestyle that I see for myself. And so for the last four years in particular, not necessarily the last seven, but the, definitely the last four in particular, I have been so hyper-focused, like zoomed in on my ability to create a business and for it to generate revenue in a certain way that looks like this in terms of like a coaching program, right? Or that looks like this in terms of like a course, or that looks like this in terms of a digital product. And when I focus on having the course work or having the digital product work or having the group coaching program work, I'm not allowing for the universe to kind of do its magic and to work. And what I'm doing is I'm being, I'm basically shutting out the universe. I'm saying, no, you cannot do anything because this has to work. And I want it to be this way because I am in control. And the thing is, I'm not really in control. The universe is in control. I have no, I have no control over what the situation is going to be. And because I keep insisting that I am in control of building this business, the universe is like, no, <laughs> no, 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 you're not getting that. It's not going to happen your way and nothing's going to come of it. And so what has happened in the last four years? Not a whole lot, <laughs> not a whole lot. I, yes, I have had my, my launches sell out for products on e-commerce, my notebooks. I have worked with some eight figure entrepreneurs. I have oversold a group program. However, keep in mind, the margins on these things were incredibly teeny tiny. It was $200 for eight weeks of working with me, $200. You could get <laughs> you could get a ream of paper, it feels like nowadays, for $200. Like, not even your phone is $200. Like, your phone is like $1,000. I, I asked for $200. That does not match. Doesn't match. And so that's why it was really difficult. It wasn't sustainable and it wasn't bringing me the actual revenue that my business needed in order to cover my expenses even. I was spending like upwards of 10 grand plus per year in coaching and programs and courses. And if I'm only making $3,000 back, that does not cover the expense that I just spent. I absolutely understand and I do agree with the idea of having to spend a little money in order to make a little money. But if you're spending a lot of money and you're not making that money back, there is a mismatch in energy there. And it's because I thought that by being in control and by doing it my way, it would work. And that's, that's not how the universe works. And so here in terms of detachment, recently I've just kind of been like whatever <laughs> like I am going to share those stories that I have I'm going to share what I know about I'm going to share my experiences I'm going to share my values I'm going to talk about my family I'm going to talk about my memories I'm going to talk about traveling to 
the Czech Republic and living in Prague for like eight months to a year. I'm going to talk about living out in Denver. Like I'm going to talk about how I started my YouTube channel back in 2017 and it was absolutely cringe. And that's what I'm like, that's what, how I'm going to show up and whatever happens is going to happen. And yes, I have learned a tremendous amount of things. And yes, I have gone through a tremendous amount of experiences and I am going to share them with you in whatever capacity that I can. But ultimately, I like whatever is going to happen is going to happen and it's out of my control. And the only thing that I could do is say, all right, for example, I'm going to create a membership, okay? Because I just recently decided, like, I I know that I want that. Like, I know that I want that. I've wanted that for two years. I had a membership two years ago, and it was difficult to run because I just had a baby. There were three people in the membership, and I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then it got really, really old, really, really fast because nobody else was joining. And I was like, I'm so upset. But instead of looking at it as I have three people in my membership, what else can I put in my membership? I looked at it as I only have three people in my membership. Why isn't this working? And I like, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. I have another three people who are in my membership currently right now. And I'm like, Uh, they're going to come with me. Like everything that I am going to be implementing and learning and doing, I am going to put in that portal for them. And, you know, that's going to be where they want to like go for education. That's great. If they want to work with me further, then they say, hey, I want to work with you further. What else do you have? And I'm going to be like, well, this is what I got because I'm building out something right now. And it's going to be more of a like mentorship strategic kind of relationship and it's going to be for eight weeks and there's like I'm building it out but like my point is is that there's this one place that you can come and you can get everything that you are looking for because I've done it I have learned all of the things and I am going to give you absolutely everything and as I implement and learn and mess up and learn more I'm going to give it to you there that's awesome. Don't make the same mistakes that I made, right? But I'm also going to have other things. And like what will be, will be. And that's the really important part about detachment. So I want I want to kind of go into that a little bit more too, because oftentimes I feel like people mess up detachment where it's like, well, I don't care. That's not detachment. That's really not detachment. Detachment is kind of, in my mind, similar to the concept of faith, where you know that it's going to happen. You don't know when, but you know it'll happen. That's kind of like the second thing that I want to talk about here, where you're you're letting go. Like you're letting, you're giving it up to somebody else. Like there's, you're giving it up to a higher power, to God, whoever, whatever. You're giving it up to the universe. It doesn't matter who you give it up to, but you're you're giving it up from your own control. And it's like, there's this phrase I've heard before. It's like, let go to let in. And that is essentially what this is. And I kind of want to relate it to Amazon. And I know it's kind of like Amazon, like what? But trust me, it works. <laughs> and I'm going to explain it to you. When you put in an Amazon order, right? You put the stuff in your cart. You're like, oh yeah, you know, I need like um, a razor and I need colored pencils and a coloring book. And those things are in your cart and you go to check out and then you check out and it's like, okay, the d- delivery will be there by Monday at 3 p.m., right? It gives you an estimated time of arrival. It's similar when the universe, when you're putting your order into the universe, like, this is what I want. This is what, how I want it. Okay. I'm putting my order in, right? And yes, it's a little different, right? Because you don't get an estimated time of arrival on your order to the universe per se, but you're letting go, right? Like that's the important part. You know, when you put your order into Amazon and you, when you press checkout and pay, or complete my order, whatever the tab is, it's yellow. You know which one I'm talking about. When you press 
complete my order. You're like, okay, I know that my shipment is coming. You let go. You're detached. You know that it's coming. For whatever reason, when we're looking for something from the universe, we're like constantly checking the tracking number. (laughs) And that doesn't work. Because when you're constantly checking the tracking number, what happens? You see every little stop that it's making along the way. It would be 10 times easier to start showing up in such a way where you're like, all right, I put my order into the universe and it's going to come, right? Like, okay, one of the orders that I'm putting into the universe currently is that my membership is going to generate six figures in my business. That's my order. Is it going to happen next week? Probably not. Will it happen? Absolutely. Do I know when? No. But I know that it's going to happen because I know that what I'm going to be providing in that membership is going to be insanely valuable. And it's like not a mastermind that cost five figures. So yeah, I do know that I am going to make a lot of people very happy in that membership. Do I know when? No. But do I know that it's coming? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming. I feel it in my bones. But it's me letting go of the outcome. Is me letting go of the result. The Amazon order is in and it will be delivered soon enough. The other thing that I want to tie into detachment here is being you, being yourself and telling your stories. Because when you are you and you show up as you and when you lean into you, what happens? You don't care about what anybody else is doing or thinking. You're not comparing yourself to anyone. All you are focusing on is you. You're focusing on how much better you can get. You're focusing on what you can do for people, how you can deliver on the promise that you made them, how you can support them, how you're going to impact them, how you're going to change lives. How are you going to handle things? When you focus on those things, that's kind of like the inspired action married with the detachment of letting go of everyone and everything else. And I think that that's probably the most beautiful and brilliant thing about letting go and detachment because when you can fully express yourself and when you can step into yourself fully, man, oh man, wait until you see what comes in. I know I can't wait until I see what comes in. I'm waiting for this hair to be just like chopped off and I'm like, I know that things are going to be so amazing with each and every action that I take moving more in the direction of becoming myself. And I... I don't care what anybody else has to say about me. I've let it go. I've detached from it. And I know that it's going to work out the way that I want for it to work out. Because it is. So, with all of that being said, I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you and encourage you that if you're new here and you've given this video a chance to subscribe and to turn on notifications for my channel because... Your girl is going to be talking about all this personal development stuff and manifestation stuff and how it ties in because it does. It does. I would know I've been doing it for seven years. And like the biggest thing for me recently, spoiler alert, is that I've been afraid in some way. I think I'm going to share that in another video about how your emotions can kind of like come through and how they can kind of like create this massive gap between the person who you are and who you want to be that that is the personal development work that's the inner work that we get to do on this journey and whether you like it or not when you're a business owner that it comes with comes with being a business owner it just does i'm working on it we're all working on it and that's why i feel like it's really important to cover because then you're like oh somebody else understands what i'm going through it's relatable So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.